Iceland is well known for being one of the most expensive countries in Europe. But is it really? Join us for the day and we'll see just how much it costs to travel in the land of fire and ice. Okay, we just left the farmhouse in Vic. That was a nice spot in there, that breakfast was all right. Bit of a, not, oh, I'm used to having a full English breakfast if I'm gonna pay for it. European breakfast. Croissants, ham, cheese. Yogurt. Yogurt egg. that Nat told me was milkshake, but it's not. Put it in a cup and some geezer looks at me and is like, huh. Right, we're gonna go over to Vic Beach, are we? Yes. Is it Vic Beach? Black Beach. It's a black sand beach. So it's unique to volcanic islands. Oh, do you reckon she's right on the suitcase? Yeah, help her. Yep. Please. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I didn't help her. And the reason I didn't help her is because she was already halfway down the stairs by the time I opened the door. Very windy as well, so the door did close back on me. And there's been quite a few times in my life, and I don't know if it's because of the way I look, but I've tried helping people, particularly older people, with like their bags and stuff, and they act like I'm trying to rob them. So I don't like doing it anymore. It's kind of, I've got like PTSD from it, where I've tried oh, helping people. Daniel. I've tried helping people, and they go, no, 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 don't help me. I'm like, all right, no worries, I won't f you then. <laughs> but, so, so now I've got like this thing in my head where I'm like, oh, should I help her? I don't really want her to shut me down. I'll just leave her, she'll be all right. If she wanted help, she'd ask for it. You know, that's why I do the don't ask, you don't get now. Anyway, that was completely off subject. It's not what we're doing today. We're not helping yeah, old ladies. We're, we're not helping old <laughs> ladies today. No, we're going to a black sand beach. In the rain. In the rain. Off we go. Fuel is extremely low, dangerously low, and the winds are heavy. I think we're gonna stop here and have a drink, wait for this sort of weather to pass. I can see the sun, like the clouds are sort of starting to clear. But at the moment, these winds and, and, and the rain are just hectic. The beach is not going to be nice. It's in here somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Just straight straight <sighs> Bloody hell. That is freezing out there. The wind is as strong as. It costs 60 quid to fill this up. Basically from empty. So that's, I don't think that's too bad. Nah. I thought it was going to be more than that. It just kept on, the number just kept going up. And I, I'm not 100% sure what the conversion is off the top of my head. So. Right, let's go. Found a cool cafe in a bus. All right, cafe first. Where is it? Where is the bus? <laughs> this is not right, Nat. No, it's not, is it? It's a yellow bus. This ain't a bus, is it? <laughs> All right, well, that's not right. Oh yeah, no, it's not this way. We've got to go back onto the main road. Right, don't try and think you know better than the map. That's when we end up places like this. Struggling to get the reverse. Well, I'm struggling to get this into reverse. <laughs> I'm not sure how that happened. Famous navigator. Lovely, thank you. Yeah. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's white chocolate and lavender. Mm -hmm. Lovely flowers with pretty stuff on top. I'm going to have a chocolate, mint, mint, mint chocolate. Chocolate orange. <laughs> Next level hot chocolates, apparently. Small. It's a bus. And you? Oh, the person who works in here is from the Cotswolds in England. <laughs> Lives in Iceland now. We're literally just, we're leaving on Monday. We arrived on a Friday, just like all weekend. What was that zoomed in? Natalia's been with the camera. Good. Oh, the rain stopped. Happy about that. Oh, Nat. You want me to get off? That 
that was well nice in there. Very hippie. They're very hippie in there. Very nice, very kind people. They did say, don't go nowhere near the water here. It's very dangerous. And even if it doesn't look dangerous, there's undercurrents and all sorts. It's don't go nowhere near the water. I wasn't going to anyway because it's gonna be freezing, but she just said, just don't go nowhere near it. You get ripped into there and you're done. The landscape of Iceland, some people describe it as barren because it kind of just looks like dead grass everywhere, like a barren wasteland. But I actually like it. It's unique. You've got the yellow grass instead of green. Then you've got the black the volcanic dust everywhere. So it's like yellow and black landscape instead of your traditional like green and brown or gray. It's different, it's unique. Even when we first turned up, we, did, we were saying, oh, it's a bit of a barren wasteland, isn't it? But you, you sort of drive around and you realize it rains here all the time. I don't know why the grass is yellow, and I like it. I think it's, I think it's special. It's bloody it's windy. It's well windy. You probably won't be able to hear that. It's actually shaking the car. That's well windy. I don't even want to go to the beach in this. Who wants to go to the beach in the rain and the wind? <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to go to the beach. Here we are, Natalia. Yeah. Yeah, all right. You have to pay for parking here. We're at the Black Beach or something. Yep. Yeah. The sand's definitely black. Oh, look at that rock. <laughs> look at that rock. There's a rock, mate. That's a cave. It's a big, big mountainous cave. Wow. This place is just like a big, dangerous, natural disaster waiting to happen. Everything is dangerous here. Got volcanoes, earthquakes. I don't even know if this mic muff is gonna work because this wind is so heavy. You might not be able to hear me right now. Let's look, look at these. rock expert but I would say that looks like slate to me Quite a nice venue in here. Fillet of lamb, local char, which is a local fish. Chicken breast, cod. The chicken breast is obviously with a load of other stuff. When you just say chicken breast on the menu, it just sounds a bit like boring, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's served in a really nice way. It is served in a nice way, in a very fancy way. It's quite expensive in here compared to the last place we ate at. We're going for the bakery. I'm going to get local char. Let's see what this is all about. They, they love their burgers out here as well, by the way. You see burgers, they're all over the place. Burgers and pizzas, they can get both in here as well. They do a, uh, this burger sounds well nice. You get a beef burger with bacon, caramelized onions, camembert, tomato salad, mayonnaise, and honey mustard served with French fries. That sounds good, doesn't it? It does sound good, but I've got to try something new. And today that something new is gonna be a fish. If Nat gets the burger, then we can see how good it is. So your, I was expecting your burger to be better than that yeah, for some reason. Yeah. Let's try this fish in, shall we? It smells very fishy. Is it? Yeah. This is not the sort of meal I do with water. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. You don't like it, we can swap. It's not really plain. Really. 
The fish? Is it up? Nah. That's alright though. That is actually nice. When you usually have potatoes. So overall, nice, quite a nice meal. Yeah. Probably made me feel good by the end of it, to be honest. It's quite healthy. I'll try it again. This this looks fucking good on paper. That is nice. Do we have the half? <laughs> nah, it's alright. How much you want half this? Yeah. Half of that. The burger beats the fish.